all electrical work must be done by a qualified electrician. The best time to check a saw blade pivot point is when you change saw blade motors, because the mounting plate on the motor may vary from the motor manufacturer and may not be in exactly the same location. A very small amount of change in the distance between the mounting plate and the end of the motor shaft will cause board lengths to vary. Checking the pivot point is done by making three cuts at different angles on the same piece of lumber. A solid 90 degree is a good place to start or finish for measuring when done. The other angles do not have to be solid on. Use an approximate 30 and 60 degree angles for the other two cuts. Start with either an approximate 30 degrees or a solid 90 degree. Put the saw in the manual mode and move the hole down about 16 inches from a 90 degree saw blade position. Then move the end feed out about 12 inches from the saw blade. This should keep the collision program from moving them when changing the angle positions between cuts. Using a straight piece of lumber, move the hole down, down vertically to the height of the lumber you are using. In this example, we will use the 30, 60, 90 degree method. Move the saw blade you are checking to approximately a 30 degree position and move the blades not being used up and out of the cut if necessary. Start the saw blade and jog the infeed conveyor forward until you cut all the way through the lumber. Then, stop the saw blade and jog the conveyor in reverse until the lumber clears the saw blade to make an angle adjustment. Making sure the lumber is still underneath the hold down and on the lumber guide. This prevents any horizontal movement of the lumber. Now move the saw blade angle to about 60 degrees and cut all the way through the lumber again. Stop the saw blade, repeat the reverse jog of the conveyor, and now move the saw blade to a solid 90 degrees. And only cut halfway through the lumber. Stop the saw blade and jog the conveyor in reverse to back the lumber completely out of the saw. All three cuts should intersect at one point. Looking at this particular board, it shows the pivot point is good, so nothing more needs to be done. The next photo shows the third cut is above the intersecting line of the last cut that went all the way through the lumber. So we need to move the motor mounting plate backward in this case. Measure the distance the cut is off and multiply it by two which will give you the distance you will need to move the motor mounting plate. Perform a lockout tagout procedure on the machine. After this is done, draw a horizontal line as a plumb reference point across the top edge of the motor mounting plate. Next, make a vertical line on the angle casting and a small line on the edge of the motor mounting plate. Measure over the distance you have calculated to move the motor mounting plate from the first small line and draw another vertical line. Loosen the four bolts holding the motor mounting plate to the angle casting and move the plate until the two distances line up, making sure you are still plumb on the horizontal line. Tighten back up the four motor mounting plate bolts and torque them down to 75 foot-pounds. If this did not fix the problem, call the MyTech Customer Service Department at 1-800-523-3380.